Hello and welcome, my name is Parky and today we're playing some more Factorio. I'm so pleased to be back in the game where last time we started mass producing a load of the blue circuit boards down here. As you can see our logistics robots are finally up and running to a good standard level which means that we're probably going to be able to carry on using them for other stuff now aside from these blue circuit boards which would be really helpful because it means that we it doesn't matter where we put all of our stuff anymore. We can just carry on mass producing these, these guys and they'll bring things wherever we need them. Now today we are working towards the whole research thing of uh, the tank because we need to go and kill some aliens, damn dirty alien scum, which is why we're currently doing laser so we can do military three. Now after that, once we've got the tank, I think I'm going to try and get obviously some of those alien artifacts so we can start uh, getting the alien shit, the alien technology that we currently don't have such as uh, rocketry and stuff like that because obviously we're working towards rocketry which is probably quite an important thing and we're also going to need to pump a load of materials into all these different modules over here like speed and uh, productivity but that's okay it's probably a good idea to be doing that at some point but we're going to need to research modules first right okay so we've got a plan a man with a plan is a good man with with a plan or something it's definitely how the saying goes. And I think really what's holding us up right now are these uh, Science Pack 1s, weirdly. Now, you wouldn't think this was a really major problem, but I think we need to expand this before we do anything else because it's taking far too long. And also our iron production is far too slow for my liking. So we're going to be sorting that out today so we can get all these things done. So we want this to start making Science Pack 1s. And we're going to need to be putting... Oh, thank you, game, for saving just as I was taking something out of my inventory. And we're going to be taking things into there and then putting them back onto this conveyor belt. Okay, but we need to provide a little bit of power over this side, like so. Okay, I think that's okay. That should be getting on with it. Perfect. So, one thing that we could do to upgrade all these systems is start putting speed modules in. Before that even happens... I think it's probably important to start expanding this other stuff. Now, I think actually the cogs are not a problem here. If you look, it's not the thing that's taking the longest to get around. I think the thing that we're waiting on mostly is just iron on this main belt still, which is a bit unfortunate. We did expand this up here last time, but I feel as though maybe we can make this even bigger. Now, these look like they're at full capacity. They're just going a little bit slowly. Okay, should we just go for modules now? 50. I feel like it's probably a good thing to go for quite quickly. Okay, right, so let's make some more of these miners. I feel like you just need endless amounts of iron in this game. It's pretty mental, to be honest. And if we just look at the map quickly, I don't think there's more iron nearby. Oh no, there's loads of iron up here, isn't there? Okay, but that's where we're making our steel. Steel is obviously important, but I don't think that's really close enough to make it easy. I suppose we could put a robo-port up there, but I don't really want to do that, if I'm honest. I think power is okay as well at the moment. Right, okay, enough rambling. Let's put down some of these things, which we need loads of iron plates for, ironically. Okay, so let's grab that, and we'll make four of them. And we'll probably need some more of these conveyor belts, but we'll just grab these off the line, seeing as we've already made them. Okay, right, and we'll just fill these up, because we don't need this many of these normal inserters anymore. Okay, so where are we going to put these miners? I feel as though maybe it'd be a good idea putting some down here. Seeing as there's, there's a very weird, like, mineral area, this, isn't it? They're all sort of, like, in weird places. Okay, well, let's rotate that one around there. We're going to bring these up here, like this. Of course, you can probably do this in a much more efficient way. What's going on here? Oh, it's because we haven't attached it. Okay. And then we can bring this around here like this. Pass some more uh, furnaces. And it'll just link in there like that. Okay. So we want some more of these down here like this. And luckily enough, we had some in our inventory. And then we want some normal inserters going in. I don't think the fast inserters are actually much better in this situation. Yeah, it looks like there's plenty going in there. Okay, so we'll use the normal ones going in. We'll take the normal ones out as well onto another conveyor belt going along here. And then we just need to give this a bit of power. So let's make some power lights. I'm actually still really loving this game. I know it's been out for a little while now. But we're actually surprisingly close 
to the end. You, you'll be surprised how quickly it suddenly comes by. As soon as you have like all these issues sorted out, like you're producing enough of these quickly, and just it's all about science packs basically. The more the more science packs you can produce, the better in the long term. We've got plenty of science pack threes, literally just waiting on the science pack fours. And in fact, this isn't going to work, is it? I'm just going to say that right now because it's going to pass it onto the wrong side of the conveyor belt. So we need to move this for the future. So we might as well do that right now whilst we're thinking about it. Okay, right, so tank, what else do we need for you, my friend? We need one of these. Okay, well, that's pretty cheap. So that'll be done pretty quick, which is nice. And then once we've got the tank, we can start, obviously, building the tank and going out and killing some of these fetid aliens, these scum. Okay, do we want to make this a request to chest? I suppose we can do. It doesn't really matter that much, does it? Okay, and we'll put down one of these like that and pick this up and move it here. Perfect. Right, so that's all set up for when we get some alien gunge. I don't know what it's called, actually. Is it just called, like, alien alien orbs? It's their balls. You castrated the damn aliens. Dirty aliens. Okay, do we need any more stuff going in here? It looks like the batteries are running out, which is a bit of a pain. Maybe what we could do is just manually to put these in for the meantime, because, frankly, we've got enough of them not to worry, but it'd be nice to have some as a backup. Okay, so let's just grab a hundred more of these and shove them in here. Okay, because I would quite like these to carry on going into this chest, because we are going to be using them and transporting them about the place, which is obviously very important. Okay, so we've got copper cable. Still a bit of a problem, the copper cable. I tried to resolve this earlier by splitting it down this way. I think if we, if we split this like so, so we just have all of these going onto this conveyor belt up here, instead of splitting it whatsoever. That should be good. Have a few more of these copper cables coming down here, because I think this is okay with the copper cables. Three machines? It's probably okay. Actually, it's not really getting to these ones, is it? Hmm. I think copper cable is always going to be a problem, child, in this factory, unfortunately. Of course, what we could do is just expand this production facility this way, or just put down even more of them. But frankly, I can't be bothered. I'm more worried about getting these uh, red circuit boards out here. In fact, I shouldn't say that because we are running out of the green circuit boards as well. So let's start figuring that out. It's like endless amounts of like upgrading your factory, isn't it? Okay, right, so we're going to need some more of these assembly machines, which is going to require iron. So let's grab loads of this iron up, and we're going to put down maybe another three of these producing copper cables. I think that seems like a good idea. Of course, what we could do is just put down... Yeah, we're going to put them on this side. And actually, there's some more copper up here. I'm wondering whether we should just make a new factory for copper cables, just insert some more plates into this system and really chug it out. I think we're going to do that. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to bring this round here. Okay, what do we need now? Where is it? Tank! Research the tank, please. So we're going to have assembly machines like this. Five of them making copper cables over here. I've never actually used these red or green wires before. I've never got into that side of things. But frankly, I feel like it's probably a bit too complicated and you don't really need it in order to do do your thing. Okay, so this is going to bring copper plates all the way around here. And then this is going to have, oh god damn it, a load of uh, transport belts linking into this system. And of course, we we're actually researching the shotgun, weren't we? So we can actually make this now if we get some more iron. Iron is always going to be the problem. Or maybe the copper cable is more so. Okay, so what do we want after this? We can go for productivity module. I suppose it's probably a good idea to start getting these researched, because we're going to need to at some point anyway. Okay, so we want a load of fast inserters going into these, like this, and then probably two, two long-hand inserters coming out. That would make the most sense, but I think before this we're going to need to up the copper production. There's so much I need to do. Okay, let's just focus on this for now. We'll keep a bit of research going. Because we're not we're not it's gonna be really easy. Once we get the alien artifacts, we don't need to worry about anything else. Okay, so let's get a load of long-handed inserters, and they're gonna take them out of here. I'm probably gonna go for the double setup because long-handed inserters, there's no such thing as a, a long-handed fast inserter. So we're gonna get double going out, just to get this going as quickly as we can. And like that. Okay, now let's get some power lines. For which we need steel. And of course, there's plenty of steel here. 
Oh, I picked up the wrong thing. Oh, well. Okay, so let's get some more of these medium electric poles, because we can probably power most of this quite easily with a few of these. Okay, there you go. So they're now going to be making a load of gubbins. Just go like that. Perfect. So they're now making a load more of these copper cables, which is good. We just need some more copper plates coming in, which I'm going to do up here. So where are our mining drills? Good. We're going to need some more electric furnaces, which is going to require more steel. Of course, I could get the personal robo-port thing, couldn't I? So I could get them sending me this steel all the time, so we've got a, a minimum amount in our inventory at any one point. So that would probably be more useful. We have four electric furnaces, and we're going to put them along here. Right, okay. Things are looking up. I like it. So we're going to have furnaces like this along this way. And we're going to have all of these miners like this. Maybe another one here, like so. And these are going to come out down here. Oh, that's not the right place, actually, is it? These are going to come out down here and then come along this way. I have to change how this goes. Bit of spaghetti, but it's okay. I like a bit of spaghetti. Very delicious. Am nam nam. Okay, and then this is going to go like this and like this. With a load of inserters going in. I'm going to need some more of this uh, conveyor belt out this way. Oh my god, so much going on. Okay, we'll go for the speed module because I believe we need that one as well. Okay, so that's going to come out there. Going to have a load of these uh, big power lines down here like this, linking all of this stuff up. It's going to be amazing. Okay, there we go. So they've got power. Now these guys are also going to need power. A little bit like that. And we're going to put down the last one of these like so. Okay, then we're going to need some of these inserters coming out and putting onto this production line. Fantastic. Okay, so let's make one more of these medium electric poles and shove it down there. Right, so plates are going to hopefully be coming in swords now, making enough of these copper cables. So what we can do, now that we've got all of these things, is probably have this line separate. So use these five for these electric circuit boards and use these five, or six even, for the uh, red circuit boards. Yeah, we're definitely not going to need that many. Okay, so let's get rid of this. And we're going to make this separate round here. It's going to come down like that. Perfect, but let's just grab this up before it ruins everything. And let's rotate this around like so. Okay, and link that one in. Now, can we get a shotgun? Because, my God, I really don't... Oh, a combat shotgun. Well, that'll do. We'll make some shotgun shells as well. Because I really want to get rid of this rock, because it's just really in the way now. Because I'd like these five dedicated for these circuit boards here instead. Because these go on to be used for these uh, things over here, I believe. At least it looks like it. Yeah, I think they do. Okay, so what am I doing? We've got the shotgun, so let's select that, and we're going to get rid of this damn rock. God knows why you have to use a shotgun to do this. I think it's just one of those little perks of the game. And I accidentally removed that, so let's replace that. Oh, this is looking a lot better now. And we're going to have the fast inserter pointing out of here. Perfect. Right, this is much better. Much, much better. They've got plenty of copper coming in, which is fantastic. So this is now not slowed down. We should have loads of circuit boards coming over here. Yes, lovely. So it's going to take a little while for this to catch up. I feel as though actually we could do with some more circuit boards over here. Let's just put down a light so we can see what's going on. Because these are fairly slow. Having said that, I think they're just waiting on these uh, copper cables. It's always going to be a bit of a backlog, isn't it? You know what, it's okay. We'll leave it. It's not the end of the world by any means. Right, okay, so this is done. Speed module is now finished as well. How close are we to this? I think we need rocket's shooting speed, which is going to take a little while. 200, right, so this is where we start needing the alien stuff. But we're definitely going to need this. So let's just start getting speed modules, because we're going to need all of that eventually. Right, so what do we need for a tank? Let's build a tank. Where is the tank? Is it on the first page? Ah oh, yes, here we go. Right, so we need engine units, steel plates, and iron gear wheels. Can do. So iron gear wheels we can get from over here. Steel plates we're going to need. 
which we can grab from up this side. Get some iron whilst we're here. Perfect. And then, what else do we need? We need some engine units, which I believe there are plenty of. Is it down here where we're producing all of the uh, robots? Where are you? Ah, here you are. Perfect. And they are here. Okay, we've actually not got any of these going into a box, which is a bit worrying. Maybe we should be focusing on that. We need even more of these. Wow, okay then. Maybe we can grab these before they're done. Man, maybe we should only have one of these po uh, pointing into these uh, engine units over here. How many of these drones do we have? There's no easy way of telling us. We can click on the little uh, robo port over here. What have we got here? Uh, where does it even say? Construction robots. Logistics robots. Six that aren't being used. Fine. Maybe what we'll do is we'll just stand here and if any come out, we'll grab them. It's going to take a little while. We literally need one, like two more of these and we'll be done. But what we're also going to need is a load of ammunition, armor-piercing rounds. Let's get that producing. Unfortunately, I think the problem here is... Actually, are there any in here? Yeah, there are. Okay, we'll just steal those instead. The problem with this is we're not going to be able to kill them very easily. And there's actually not that many nests around here, so it probably doesn't even matter. The tank's biggest asset is the fact that you can run them over. And running things over is the quickest way of sorting them out. And by sorting them out, I mean killing them. <laughs> right, okay. Do we need this? I don't think so. So we can get rid of that. I believe we can just leave that as is. Fine. We've got loads of steel down here. Never really checked back, did I? Thousands of steel. Well, that is slightly comforting, at least. Right, so we've got a nest up here in the top left of the map. We've also got another one over here and another one down there. We're going to need a lot of these materials, unfortunately, to do this rocket. And it seems like we've been a little bit unlucky with the spawning of the aliens, which should definitely be a, a sequel to the alien films. The spawning of the aliens. Well, I suppose Prometheus, the film, was actually kind of like a prelude to Alien, wasn't it? Oh, did we never power these? I am a buffoon. I'm a complete buffoon. I do apologise. In fact, I can't be bothered to make the rest of this ammo, so we're just going to do this instead. And make this tank perfect. Well, that was quick. Well, let's just link this up, and that should now be working. So let's put the tank down. We'll put it down here. We need to fuel it with a load of coal. And we can put our ammo in there. Like this. Wonderful. Let's get in. Time to tank. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's switch to our proper weapon. And we're going to go for this nest right over here. And it's quite close by, actually, so it shouldn't be too bad. The thing to do is just to take down the nest itself, first of all, because you really don't want to have to deal with uh, the big wormy majigs like that dude over there. Because they do a lot of damage to you. Okay, let's see if we can just reverse onto these guys. Perfect. And I suppose we can just use a little bit of armor-piercing rounds. Fine, so if you see that, we've got five alien artifacts, and each one of those will give us, I believe it's ten uh, science level four packs. I just like completely couldn't remember what they're called. Um, so yeah, we need a lot of them, and we're probably going to need about a rough guess of two and a half thousand of those science packs. So we're going to need 250 of these things, which is okay. It looks like there's a big nest up here, so we should be all right. Okay, so let's zoom in. Hopefully we can take them out quite nicely. I'm just going to ignore everything else, go through all of these nests, grab all of the alien artifacts, and get out of there quickly. Right, that was successful. Now we're going to have to return home, but as you can see we've got 48, so it's not going to be too bad collecting them. It's going to take a few little trips, but at least we know we can do it. And of course we could get the better ammo for this. You can get like tank shells, explosive tank shells. But for the sake of what we're doing, you probably don't need them. You can probably get away with just going for the normal armor-piercing rounds in this. Which I'm going to try and do if I can, because I really can't be bothered to set up a factory for explosives. It seems a bit frivolous, doesn't it? Okay, so let's slow this down before it destroys anything. Get out of this place. It's going to roll away a little bit. We need to make some repair packs. Now, also, we need to make some construction robots which is really something that I should do, because then as soon as we roll back home, we can start uh, repairing automatically. So in fact, let's just get a fast insert going into here and a fast insert out as well. Okay, how's this doing? And in fact, what we want to do is not do this at all. 
We want to have a couple of chests going in, don't we? I've just thought about this. We've got... Probably don't even need to request a chest. Okay, so we're going to have a chest here. Fast inserter out. Then the factory going down here, which is going to be producing the science pack fours. Let's just shove those in now. And then we can just put down a normal chest as well. In fact, we'll put down a request chest because then we can always uh, have it so that the robo ports, they take it off of us instead of having to get out of the tank, which seems very lazy. Very lazy indeed. So let's go for that. We can just get 20,000. Cool. Okay. So that's all sorted now. That should be producing these, and they're going on to the belt finally. So thank God we've got some alien artifacts coming in here. Fantastic. And they're on the right side of the belt as well. Good news. Right, so let's make some repair packs. Might be worth actually mass producing these, but they're, to be fair, they're pretty damn quick to make, so maybe we won't bother. Right, what do we need for construction robots? Let's just reverse this, uh, because it'd be nice to get those. Have we not researched them yet? Maybe that's why we don't have them. Would make sense, probably. Well, for now, we can just repair it ourselves, I suppose. Where is this? Construction robots. Do we really not do that? Oh, well, we're definitely going to do that next after Productivity Module 2. That seems a bit ridiculous. Okay, where did we park our tank? Because we're going to do a few trips out now. We're going to go and take on the alien scum. The scum lords. Uh, so let's just put this down again. I don't know why I picked that up, actually. It's going to take quite a few of these repair packs to repair this, but it's going to be worth it. It doesn't really matter. In fact, it might be worth taking a few of these repair packs with us, because then we can just do this out on the field instead of having to keep coming back home which would make a lot more sense. So let's just do that right now. We'll just make a load of them. And we'll put a load of this coal in, and of course the armor-piercing rounds. Not that we've really used them that much. In fact, what we can do is we can start producing these armor-piercing rounds whilst we're in the tank. Because why not? Okay, so we'll queue some of those up, and let's get in. I think I accidentally shotgunned this tank then, which wasn't very helpful. Right, okay, so there's a nest down in the... Is that... Is that a nest there, or is that pink? Can't really tell, but I definitely know there's a nest down to the south here. So let's do it. 